not conform to the pattern of this world But be transformed by the renewing of your mind Then you'll be able to test and approve What God's will is Do not conform to the pattern of this world But be transformed by the renewing of your mind Then you'll be able to test and approve What God's will is It's good Pleasing and perfect will is good. Pleasing and perfect will is good. Pleasing and perfect will is good. Pleasing and perfect will. Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you'll be able to test and approve what God's will is. How if we start with the opening prayer first? Oh, okay, okay. Let's go. Okay. Dear Jesus, now we want to start. Please bless us so that everything can go smoothly and we can get something new. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 I'm so excited because all of my friends have come to my home. Uh, how about we play some game first? But wait, Let's our play. purpose here is to work on our homeworks together, right? So, let's finish our homework first and then we can play together. Ah, uh, alright. Okay, then we can play uh, later then. <gasps> Come on, let us do our homework first. Okay yes. then, let's, Come on, go. let's go. Let's <sighs> go. Mm. Okay. Can I borrow this? Can I borrow this one? Oh, yeah. Hmm. I know. But I just I can do it later and I can play some games first, alright? What? What? But if you do your games first later, you won't be able to finish this. Yes, that's right. You should finish your homework first and then you it's, can play. It's okay, really, Celine, you can do your own homework first. I want to play just a little bit. Just I want to play uh, one or two games, okay? <gasps> with my homework. You're already done? I just did halfway. That's so hard. <sighs> Wait, Aria, why don't you do your homework? The homework is so many and hard. Uh, I can I can do it later because the game is still fun, okay? <sighs> this homework is too hard. Huh, how about I relax my mind a little and play a game? Oh. Let's go, 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 go. Really. Let's go. Guys, you haven't done your homework yet. Relax, Celine. It's okay, really, chill. Oh, you can really. do it later. It's okay. You guys also really. haven't done your... It's you okay, it's okay. Let's, let's, okay. let's play a game. Uh, what game are we going to play, really? So we're gonna play a crossword puzzle. Oh, a crossword puzzle. Celine, come on, come on, let's, let's play a game. Go. Uh, crossword puzzle, okay. I know crossword puzzle, uh, but... How do we play it? So there will be a box and the box will be full of letters. Oh. But there are some words that are going to be hidden in the letters. Oh, so are there are some words hiding inside a random letters? But really, I think that will be so difficult to find if we don't have clue. Yes, that's oh, right. Yeah. I'll give you one clue, which is the words are categorized with Vegetables! Oh, vegetables. Okay, okay then, let's start the game! Okay, All right. so, so here are the first word is celery. Okay, okay. you have to find that. Clue are the types of vegetables, all right? The first word is celery. Hmm. <gasps> I found it, I found it! Oh, oh you already found it? Very yeah. good. Yeah, oh, where is it's it? It's at the fourth line and at the column Five at the very right. Okay. It's and it goes down. 
Oh, I found it. It starts with a C. Yeah. On the fourth, on the fourth row from the right. Okay. Yes. How about you, Ariel? Can you find anything? Oh, I found one. Oh, what I is it? I found a pumpkin. Oh, I love pumpkin. Oh, pumpkin. oh you love pumpkin? Yes. How about you said you love pumpkin? Yes, me too. Okay, so the pumpkin is start with a P, right? And it's going downwards at the second row from the top. Oh, okay. I see it. It's P and ends with the N. How about oh. you, Celine? Oh, uh, I found a leak. Oh, a leak? It's at the first <laughs> column from the left side. Oh, fifth oh. column from the left. Oh, is, is it going downward? Yes. yes. It is going downwards. How about you, really? I can't seem to find anything in the moment. Hmm. Um. The next one is hmm. Spanish. Spanish is my favorite festival, but I didn't really? seem to find anything. Uh. I don't see it. <gasps> Ooh. Hmm. Oh, I think oh. It, it's, it's on the bottom. Really? Huh? Oh, yeah, I see it. It's at the very bottom. Yes, that's oh. right. Oh, yeah. At column number two from the very right. Okay, so uh, the edge is on the second column from the right. Okay. Yes. Start with a, with a S. Okay, okay. next one. Mm, Pass name. I found the parse name, guys. Ooh, wow. It's between the pumpkin and a leg. Okay, oh. start with a P and it's going downward. Oh, I see it now. Oh, yeah, wow, you're it. really good at this game. Yes, of course. I'm Ario. I can do all games. Mm. Okay. How about you, Celine? Okay. Yes. Have you found anything? Oh, I found carrot. Oh, oh where's carrot? carrot? It's at the middle. Oh, with oh. yellow color. I think I see it. It's right literally in the middle. Oh. Yeah. At the you center with a C and it's going downward. Oh. Guess what? You know that carrots actually help you with your vision? Oh. Oh, oh yeah? yeah? Yeah. Oh, I see. I think I need to uh, have more carrots then from now on. Okay, mm, next okay. one. It's huh. a uh, bit. Hmm. Beet. I've never really? heard of it before. How about you? Bit? Can you find, find a bit? Oh, I found it, I found it! Oh, where is it? It's between carrots and celery. Oh. oh. oh it has see. four. Letters. Okay, four it's letters going start with a B. Down. And going upwards. Huh? Going oh. upwards, right? Oh, I see B -E -T. it. Sorry. It's okay, really. So, the next one. You found a bit and I found a zucchini. Zucchini? Yes, what it's on the second column from the right. It starts with a Z and it's going downward. Oh, going oh downward. yeah, I see it now. How about you, Celine? Oh, so, I found Arugula. Oh, Arugula. It's at the second column from the left. Second I've never column heard from of the left. So, okay. I've never heard of Arugula. And is it going downwards? Or upwards? Or upwards. I think it's going downwards. It is downward. going downwards. Okay. What is Arugula? I've never heard of that before. Yeah, me too. I never yeah, heard of too. it. Um, yeah, what is that? Never mind then. I'll ask my teacher. Okay, next one. Oh, it's... I think it's very easy. It's a P. A oh, P? P? P E A? P P P P? Oh, I see it! Oh, where is it, really? It's very funny because the E is you. The E from the P is using the E from the Lee. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So the P is on the third row from the bottom. And, and it's, it's going, going horizontal. Ori Diagonal, really. Oh, diagonal. Diagonal. Diagonally to the left, upwards. Okay? P E A. Oh, yeah. this one. This is one of my favorite vegetables because I love French fries. You is know? It, is it you know? potato? Yes, it is potato. Oh, potato. I found a potato. It's from the third row from wow. the bottom. Oh, yeah, it's I see with a P. it. Oh, yeah. And it's going rightwards. Okay? P O P A. Huh. How about you, Sally? Uh, I found Rilo Curve. Oh, uh, Rilo Curve. I, uh, bro you think? I think you said it wrong. It's a broccoli. Broccoli. Oh, broccoli. Broccoli. I have broccoli. I've never heard of a Rilo Curve before. Broccoli. Broccoli. It's, it start with a P at the second row from the bottom. Oh, is it between potato and spinach? That's right, and it's oh. and be careful. Oh. It is going backwards, so oh, you need to find why. it. Oh, that's why. 
That's, that's why we're all confused. Okay, come on, guys. Four more. Four more. Come on. Reddish. Right now, reddish. 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 Oh. Reddish. Where is it? Where's the reddish? Can you find it? Mm. Can you um, find it? Where's the reddish? Oh, I think I found it, too. Can you see it, really? Oh, yes, I see it. Mm. On the right side. It's from the, right the very side. right side. Yes. It's also close to zucchini. That's right. It's going upwards. Be careful. From, start from the R. Okay. Next one. I found a rutabaga. Oh, what's a rutabaga? Oh, rutabaga. Uh, I, I, I never heard that. Heard of it though. <laughs> I never heard yeah. of it too. Guys, sorry. I'll ask my teacher. Okay? Okay? okay. It sounds like a root. Rutabaga. It's on the fourth column from the right. And it is going upwards. You guys can search from the R, okay? Oh, I see yeah. it now. Okay, next one. Come on, guys. A little bit. Come on, you can do oh, it. Come on, come on. Next one. Stalin, cauliflower. Uh, cauliflower. 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 Oh, I found it. Where it's is it? It's at the very top. Oh! Oh, I found it! But why does it say re look? No, really, it's going backwards. Oh. So you need to find the C. It is yeah. on the top corner on the right. Oh. And it is going backwards. So, lastly, really. Come on, really? you can do it. <sighs> can you find it? I can't find it anywhere. Come on, really. Oh, oh I see it, really. I see it, I see it! Come on. Oh. It's at the, it's row number two from the very top and it is in column number five. And oh, it's five. going down. Okay. okay. Yeah, Yay, congratulations. We did it. We did it. We did it. Yay. Wow, the game is still fun. Okay, so yeah. this is the first game, okay? And the second game we're gonna play. No? Uh, yeah. But sorry, friends, I cannot join anymore. It's already too night. I need to go home soon. Yes, me too. Uh, it's already. Look at the sky. It's so dark. Yes, now. It's so dark. Mm. I need to go home. Um. Yeah. Okay, there. Um. Hmm. hmm. Hey, Ario. I look. Look at this comic book. Is this yours? Yes, that's mine. Oh, it looks so cool. Can I borrow it? Congratulations, really. You found the greatest book in my shelf. That is my favorite comic book. Oh. You can borrow it, but please don't wreck it, okay? Of course I'm not gonna wreck it. Okay. Relax. You're gonna return it like tomorrow or yeah, next week? Yeah, I'm gonna return it tomorrow. Okay, then. Please okay. don't wreck it, alright? Okay. Okay, then. Okay, then. We're leaving first. Bye. Okay, bye-bye. Bye, Mario. We wanna do right because everything we do, we can do it for Jesus. Jesus. We can do it for Jesus. Jesus. Okay, let's do some together. I wanna do right, wanna do that right. I'm gonna give you all of my life and put my trust in you.
Huh, uh, um, where's everybody? I think they're gonna be late. Hmm. Hi, Ario. Oh, hi, I'm really? so sorry I'm late. It's okay, it's okay. Here's the comic book yesterday I borrowed. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. But, huh? Wait, where this one is folded? Oh no, where this one is torn apart? Oh no. I'm so sorry, Ario. Yesterday when I was reading your book, I fell asleep and it was wrecked. Um, but yeah, okay then, really. Never mind. It's sorry. Oh, hmm. hi, friends. Hi, Sally. Have you been here for a long time? Um, oh. pretty long. But have you finished your homework yet? <gasps> oh no, I forgot. Yesterday when oh no, yesterday when I came home from Ario's house, I had the comic book. I was so oh my gosh, I'm so uh, the homework was almost done. I almost finished it. But I forgot. Uh, I ended up reading the whole comic book. Uh, me too. Uh, I didn't do any of my homework because my mom yesterday um, brought me to my cousin's house and then we going home very late and I'm so sleepy. I slept all night and I forgot to do my homework. I think the teacher's gonna be mad at me. Me too. Hmm. Okay then, we still have time. Let's go to the classroom and finish your homework. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Let's, let's, go, let's, go, go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Do you know, if Jesus always call you and me precious because his love is the greatest love. So, let's come worship together. Let's come worship to him. You can put your hands like this.
for us Jesus we want to listen your word after this help me to pay attention nicely thank you Jesus we want to pray in Jesus name Amen we know that Every single one of us has our own responsibility. From a little children, the age of two, up to the age of our grandparents, all of them have their own responsibility. For example, a president like President Pak Jokowi, he has a responsibility to govern a country, to make sure that all the citizens live in peace and even live in prosperous. Another example, a father or a dad, like our dad, has the responsibility to lead, to protect, and also to provide his family. That's why he needs to work. And another example, an employee, the one who works in the office, has the responsibility to complete their work and report it to the boss. And even you guys as a student, you have the responsibility to learn, to study in school, and even to do your homework and complete your homework from your teacher. So never ever think, why am I the only one who has a lot of things to do? Never ever think like that, because every one of us, including me, have our own responsibility that need to be completed. That's why we are responsible to get it done. Today, I have two things on how to do our responsibility. The first one is cheerfully and happily carrying out our responsibility. I give you an example to explain this. For example, who has a pet at home? Anyone? I have a pet. I have a fish at home. And do you feed them every day? Yeah, I believe so. If we have a pet at home, it is our responsibility to take care of them, like feed them with their food, take them for a walk, and even cleaning their cage. So it is our task to take care of them. And when we do our task, or we, we take care of them with a happy heart. We do it with cheerfully and happily. And our pet will also be happy. Do you know why? Because they can feel our love for them. And I believe your mom and dad will also be proud of you because you took such a big responsibility by taking care of your own pet. Another example. Let's say your teacher gives you Four homework. Oh, yeah, that's a lot. Four. And it needs to be submitted on Monday, which is tomorrow, right? I give you two options. Which option will you choose? Option A, starting from today, after church, you will start to do it one by one, but with a happy heart. And you understand that this is your responsibility as a student. Option B, starting from today, yes, you will complete them one by one, but with a grumpy heart. You are thinking, oh, why? Why every day there will be homework and homework and homework? Why? Do you know that I just want to play? Well, I believe your homework will still be completed that day. But your heart is full of anger. If you are given two options, which option will you choose? Will you choose option A, doing it with a happy heart? Or option B, doing it with a grumpy heart? Well, option A is a wiser option. Because happily carrying out your responsibility and get things done with a happy heart. It's what God wants us to do. We can see in the Bible. The Bible tells us in Ecclesiastes 7 verse 9. I'm going to read it from the ICB version. It says, Do not become mad quickly, because 
Getting angry is foolish. You see, Eagle Kids, a grumpy heart will not take us anywhere. Instead, doing our responsibility with a joyful heart will make us a blessing for everyone. And God is pleased with what we did. And there also will be a very huge difference in the result between a person who did their responsibility with a happy heart and a person who did their responsibility with a grumpy heart. So we can ask the Holy Spirit to keep reminding us to choose or to do the right things. That's the first one. The second one, we need to finish or to complete our responsibility or simply get things done. So not halfway, but the whole thing or completed the whole responsibility. It means that we need to do our responsibility until it is completed. I know, even though sometimes it's too hard, but sometimes also you feel bored of, or, of doing the same things all over again every single day, but still, if we are given a task to do it, we need to complete it. Delaying will only give us a short, dangerous break. I use the word dangerous because it can make us not complete it, our responsibility. And even if you still have time to do it, you will do it carelessly, like because you have very small amount of time and there will be still much responsibility to, to be done. Let us learn from David. David was loyal and always cheerfully to carry out his responsibility, even when he he tend to take care of his father's ships, which, is, which, is, which were only two to three ships. Let us hear the story. David arrives on the battlefield, taken from 1 Samuel 17, verse 12 until 20. Now David was the son of an Ephratite named Jesse, who was from Bethlehem in Judah. Jesse had eight sons, and David was the youngest. Jesse's three oldest son had followed Saul to the war, but David was still young and responsible to tend his fathership at Bethlehem. David's main task was to tend two to three sheep in the field. He was cheerfully carrying out his responsibility as a shepherd. Jesse asked David to see his brothers in the battlefield and delivered some food for them. And without grumbling, David quickly arranged the time to do his task. Early in the morning, David woke up and left the flock in the care of a shepherd. David did not leave his flock alone. He was responsible to get things done completely. David was looking for someone who was able to take care of his flock while he was away. So David was a very responsible son. While well, he was cheerfully carrying out his responsibility to tend for the ship, he also wrote beautiful psalms. Yes, psalms, which is one of the books in the Bible. And many psalms were composed during that time. When David got an extra work from his dad to deliver food for his brother in the battlefield, David did not forget his main job, which is to tend for the sheep. He quickly find other shepherd that could take care of his sheep while he was away. And he also did not delay the task that was given by his dad. It says in the Bible that early in the morning, David quickly found the other helper. He loaded up and he set out as his father directed. And the most important thing, David did all of his responsibility with a happy heart. And David did what the Bible teaches us in Matthew 25, verse, verse 21. I'm going to read it from the ICB version. It says that, You have been faithful over a little. I will set you over much. As we know that many years later, David became the king of Israel. Well, David did not go directly from shepherd just like that to be the king. No, 
But the responsibilities start from a small, small things, which is to shepherd the sheep all the way God trusted him more and more and more until he became the king of Israel. So when we know and we are doing our responsibility cheerfully and happily and wholeheartedly, even sometimes it might be too simple or it might be too hard, but when we do it with the whole heart, I believe the Holy Spirit will guide you and also give you wisdom to arrange your time wisely. And we can able to complete it just on time. So let us say our big message today in a count of three, okay? One, two, three. I will do it. One more time. Let's repeat it one more time. All stand up. Okay. One, two, three. Three, I will do it. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, thank you for teaching us to be responsible in every task that you have trusted us. Holy Spirit, please help us and always remind us to choose the right thing. And please give us wisdom to arrange and use our time wisely. I believe all of us will do and complete our responsibility with a cheerful heart. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Eagle kids, now can you raise up your hand as I'm going to pray for you. God will bless you and your family and with his love and joy and peace. May your days fill with grace and wisdom from God. God will protect you and guide you and make you succeed in everything you do. So you can be blessed and be a blessing wherever you are. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you. favorite comic book? Yes. But it's okay, Jen. You don't need to replace it. But it's your favorite comic book. And it's okay. I already bought it anyways. And the old comic book, you can give it to me. Oh, okay then. Thank you so much. You're welcome. That means being responsible to all things that we borrowed. In addition, we also need to be responsible to all assignments that is given to us. Yes. 
Good thing yesterday I finished my homework, so the teacher didn't get mad at me. Um, about me, I think the teacher have, have been mad at me from yesterday. And then I got a new homework to do, but it's okay, I've done all of it. Oh. That's great. Friends, if we have any homework or assignments, we need to do it properly. Whether it is at home or in public areas. And from now on, I will finish my work until the very end. I will do it! Although it's hard, I want to clear all of my responsibilities. I will do it! Let's say it again, friends. One, two, three. I, I will do, do it! Once more time, okay? One, One two, three. I, I will do it! it. Since tomorrow there's no homework, how about we play games with our That's friends? Right. But friends, remember, even though we don't have any assignments or homework tomorrow, but we have math tests. Oh, oh, yes. We can play games today freely because tomorrow we have math tests. Do you, do you forget about that? Yes. I'm sorry, friends, but we can't play with you today. But it's okay. We can play next week. Yes. So, see you next week and God, God bless, bless you! you.